think we've seen four different kickers for Tonga tonight. It was only a matter of time before Latu teed one up. <laughs> Didn't want to be left out of the party. On the restart, there is Latu skipped out of his hands and advantage to the United States. Being wrestled down. Pinolio. Yes, sir. Spun outside, Stanfill, flat footed. Run! Robbie Shaw trying to get something going here. Yes, Use it. Around that is over. Doyle forward and tandem with Stanfill and Lavala. Wiles stepping up with Clever and Patterson on him. And then Shaw to Quill. Push back, push back. John gets it to the deck and they come back the other way. Doyle. And the whistle. And Gwenya comes up, taps, and then knocks on. So. Yes, but you must play off it. Well, it, it needs to be more clinical. Around. U.S. needs to clean this up. And I, I like that Z is trying to do something enterprising there. In the last few phases, we've seen Tonga able to slow the game down slow down the rucks the u.s is trying to get quick ball that's the their aim is to try to get less people into the rucks more quick ball out of them and yet it seems to be slowing down a little bit for them so now the u.s front row of wallace finolio and pitman crouch And Tonga off the foot of Moa. And Gwenya back wheels around and starts heading back upfield. Z brought down. In the United States with the clock running down. Down by nine with 14 minutes to go. Shaw tries to do it himself. Really nothing there. Push back. Push back. Muscling forward the U.S. and in from the side. And 22 from the side. The penalty awarded to the U.S. Wiles will try to crank this one down. Deep in the Tongan half. Great Man. kick. Nicely done and inside the 22. Well, this is go time right here for the U.S. They really need a score. They can't come away without any points inside the 22. There's only about 13 minutes left in this game. Maybe a little bit of stoppage time. Lestrange comes out. Adam Sadal in. Yes, I will. Wearing number 22 is Adam. Three of his four penalty goals he nailed in his uh, Canada debut. Fenolio getting set for the lineup. Another also checking in, yeah. Okay. Is Kawanga. Nomosi. Been with him for a while. At 6'7 and 275, the 32 year old. Time is on. Time is on. Made his debut against Samoa in 02. Also a veteran of the 07 World Cup. Might see him airborne here. Over clever taken by Tonga. Coming back the other way, Suniula. Trying to make a grab there, not going, and a turnover, a killer for the U.S. Finolio struggled a little bit in his game against Canada in the throws. 22, not running. Not running. It's not rolling tough, away. Tough task to come in cold off the bench 
and nail that first throw, but it's crucial time. And that's when the U.S. needed it the most. Tony Alamoa stepping up. Moa with time for the Blues and the Chiefs and was on Tonga's 2011 World Cup squad. And sends one into touch. So a change at the hooker position as Tyone comes out. Number three. Eliasa Maasi. Three. We're in number 16 in. Just over 10 to go. Well, last week against Ireland, we talked about how there needed to be some individual moments of brilliance, some moments that could be conjured in times that were needed. And this is one of those times again. Retained by Tonga in the air. And there is Maasi. Tapoli brought down by Doyle. Latu cuts back and runs into Pittman. That one squirts free and retained by Tonga. Push back, push back. U.S. needs a little lightning here. And Ten minutes to go. So Suniola's got him stood up. Sit all with him. It's going to be a scrum. Yes, he's going now. Thank you. A close look at John Quill for the U.S. This one started out with the U.S. scoring. Wiles on a penalty goal just uh, three or four minutes into the game. Come on, please. And Akalo closer, closer. hit himself a three-pointer to even it up. And the big difference has been a couple of tries by Pio Akalo. One in the first half with 25 minutes to go, and then early here in the second half. Coach! Kalhenga wearing 19. Touch. We saw him come in for Set. Afu. Hey, hey, hey. Yes. Oh. Be steady, please. Steady. Be steady. As soon as engage, use it. As soon as engage, use it. Well, no, I, I don't agree with the call. You're not supposed to push early, and so Closer. the Tongans are push clearly pushing, which is why the U.S. is going backwards. Robbie Shaw is saying there, this should be a penalty. He doesn't get it. There, there's nothing that says the scrum half has to immediately feed the scrum. Touch! Set! Took a bad bounce before the strike by the U.S. to get it out of there, and they do. Great job by Clever cleaning it up. Sadal. <laughs> Not releasing the call, so. Holding on. They point to the post, bringing out the tee. The captain wants to take another swing at it. Nili Latu. Seven and a half minutes to go, and based on the reaction of the crowd, which is uh, pretty good support for the Tonga squad. Pulling for the 31 year old. Latu to get it done.
off the mark. So still time, seven minutes remaining. U.S. struggled tonight. Handling errors. Just lapses in concentration and, and an inability. Moa to dumps execute. it to the corner and uh, not handled well by the United States. Well, they haven't been able to execute their game plan. Shaw with the boomer picked up by Paulo. Nicely flung in the air and Mahasi on the game. Number eight offside. Referees playing a long advantage says Todd Clever was offsides. Still about four and a half to go. With Tonga holding a 18 to 9 come lead. On, come on. But less than a week later, the United States looks like it's taken a step backwards. They just don't look like they're playing with with a great amount of uh, of passion right now. It's tough, you know. It's it's tough to play 80 minutes straight, flat out. It's not for lack of trying. There's just some, something. The chemistry tonight just doesn't seem to be there. Tonga weathered a couple storms, able to be down a man for the last 10 minutes of the first half, and not really be hurt by that. And they have crossed the goal line twice. And looking for yet another. Turnover comes to uh, Doyle. That's Latu offsides again. Six. Offit number six. Wiles boots it quickly. That does not make touch. And so. That one does. And so the line out will be right around halfway for the United States. On the line, please. Finolio going to have a throw again. Zach comes in to grab that one out of the air. Lavala handled by Kamapua Fisi, number 18. Off goes John Quill. Grabbing a Shaw in turn. Gwenya in to touch. It's a heads up move, trying to pepper that short side. Kind of ran out of space though for Z. He doesn't need a whole lot of space, but he needs more than a foot. And he just didn't get it there. Just a minute and a half to go to Pole. Fresh bounce, grabs it up high and the ball's on. Off the foot. Fahua. <laughs> He's apologizing to his teammates for that kick. 
precious moments ticking away. Shaw tries to play it on a bounce, not happening. Tonga comes up with it. Well, the rhythm just isn't there tonight for the United States. Kalenga. Latu. Shifting inside to Piokala. Can he go for the hat trick? Knocked on by Iangi. So the U.S. And Gwenya can't come up with that one. Circling back inside. A couple of moves by Hello to pull it with the flick. And the big man, Kalenga, right by the touchline. All that's left on the clock is whatever Pastrana has on his wrist. I don't think he's going to wait very long for this one. Well, the U.S. needs to regroup. They're going to fly to Japan tomorrow. Way and we've reached 80 minutes. Doyle to Stanfill. And the U.S. goes to Japan and has two more games in the Pacific Nations. Taking on Fiji on the 17th and then Japan on the 23rd. The ball brought down. Wiles and Pittman and Gwenya. Just no room for Gwenya to run tonight. Tonga wants to get a hold of that one and put an end to it. The knock on and that's it. So Tonga came into this match ranked 12th in the world. The United States 17th. Tonga coming in off a, a tough loss to Canada. Of the U.S., a tough loss to Ireland, and give Tonga credit. Weathered yeah, a couple of storms in the first half, came out, did what they had to do in the second, got a break with the uh, Piokala, but 18-9 the final.